With elections looming, South African political parties are gearing up and putting their best sugar daddies forward. Here are some funders and lobbyists who are buying your freedom at a fraction of what it's actually worth. We'll take a quick look at the top six. Hi everybody, my name is Zoe and welcome to Frank Conversations. Sidebar. The information provided was taken from Daily Investor, which was published on the 4th of October 2023. We'll put the link down below. Let's get into it. In the first place, with the highest stakeholders, the papas of the land, the Oppenheimer family, with a 15% total. Then comes the fine boss with a whopping 14.9%. They are followed by Martin Moschel, a Jewish tech millionaire, with a 13.7% total. Then we have the Batu Batu Trust with a 13.3%, an apparent black-owned company established in 1992. But with Absa and Salnam as their shareholders, mm, we know what exactly is going on there. They are followed by Manganese of Kalahari with 9.6%. And they have an anti-corruption policy on the homepage of their website very suspicious as we move lastly we have our own apparent billionaire mr petris mozipe himself with a comfortable 8.6 percent obviously these numbers are subject to change and probably more money or less regarding i don't know what but now let's talk about how much these funders give these political parties Let's keep in mind what the funders stand for. What we know is that Petris Mozipe spreads his fund across different political parties via the IEC. Okay, now we're going to start with the ANC, right? Their biggest donor is Batu Batu with 45 million and followed by United Manganese of Kalahari with 32.5 million rands. And yeah, those are the top two. Then we're gonna go with the DA. Their highest funders are Fine Boss with 50.4 million rands. And they are followed by Martin Moschel with 30 million rands. And remember this Mr. Martin Moschel is the Jewish tech guy um, who is apparently funding a lot of the political parties in South Africa. All right, and then we're going to move to Action SA, their biggest funder um, or lobbyist are the Oppenheimer family, which is 50, they fund 50.5% of their total funds. And that is 33.26 million. Why did Mashaba leave the DA, you ask? I have absolutely no idea because, I mean, the funders are the same, so the mission is the same. So one never knows. The second largest lobbyist is, after the Oppenheimer family, is again, Mr. Martin Moschel, the Jewish tech millionaire. I hope you see what's going on here. And then we're going to move on to Musi Maimani's uh, political party, Bossa. His top funder with 60.6% is again Martin Moschel, the Jewish millionaire. In the streets are saying that the family who owns South Africa are also part of the others. Yeah. And then we have last the EFF uh, who have Petrus Mutzipe as their biggest donor with 2.2 million rands and oh i didn't mention that um martin moschel uh donated uh two million to bossa the 60.6 percent of martin moschel was the two million and the eff biggest donor petris mozipe like i said is 2.2 million rands now The information provided, with the information provided, you can see and as you take it in and let it simmer in your brain, you kind of like have an idea of who is running the country. 
So when you do vote, make sure your conscience is clean and clear of all the lobbyist nonsense because what's going on here is more than just um, donors. It's just lobbying and purchasing of the freedom of people of South Africa. And the current dispensation is actually in it with everybody else. So mm, what they do is they hide behind like black political parties and just continue with, you know, the same taking advantage of everything that is going on in South Africa. So now when you do go vote, just bear in mind of who you are voting for and make sure that you know, you do your own due diligence and research exactly who is funding the political party that you want to vote for. Please subscribe, like, and share this video because it gives us, um, you know, traction and all of those good things so that we can continue posting and have great algorithm with the YouTube channel. And thank you so much for listening and indulging in the information.